Um, wanted to show you this other spot um, Michelle had mentioned. I looked at a couple of areas I feel like this is the best. Right up here is something called Dickman Road and around the other side of that begins something called the Motor Mile which is a huge like area of car sales and things like that and it's kind of like a local city icon. So um, the river runs through here um, all through downtown comes through this lap here and then goes out into here which is kind of like a little pond area so um, we would essentially be turning the group coming down here and I think this would make the most sense for us to do a water ceremony at this point uh, would note there is a fallen heroes thing so I know that would be sensitive to some people but want to put that that's there um, and uh, these are people that were police and firefighters uh, who died so um, whichever with that um, walking up uh, this is a pretty good space um, I don't know if we, if we could fill if we got 500 people in here I think that we could kind of fill it and I think it would look very intense so that part is cool um, <clears throat> up here uh, kind of the same thing as our other site that is much closer. Um, it would be a couple places for somebody to set up, but uh, we'd really have to be mindful about how we get people down to the water. Um, it's not necessarily good, <laughs> but uh, um, I, I feel like for what we're trying to accomplish and for people to understand the gravity of the spill, um, you can see some of the weird oil sheen ripples that we get in the river through here. Um, I suspect if I started searching around, uh, we could find oil sheen in some of the pockets through here. Um, the other side of this area was uh, heavily dredged by Enbridge. Uh, so uh, there was definitely a lot of a lot of oil in this area at one point. I'm going to show you there, kind of in the distance. Uh, we have a bridge and there's another cross street that goes over here. Uh, could be some good shots. There's also another embankment for somebody with a really good camera. I got in there. Um, there is some good shots and this area is very visible uh, from over there and also from the bridge. and. Um, Depending people's feelings, uh, I think that this is an area that you could potentially get a kayak or something in uh, and do some cool things as well. So uh, I'm going to kind of wind this video down here. I want to get a couple of stills from here, also by the bridge, just to see what it looks like. And uh, this would be the other area that I would suggest other than the service center. Uh, this would be about 1.7 miles instead of like 0.3 miles so this would be a much more significantly larger march however this uh, would take us through the heart of downtown battle creek and um, would also uh, kind of start taking us right on the edge of town into what is a lot of residential and i feel like there's an opportunity to speak to some of the community down here uh, many of which are um, impoverished, I guess is the way I want to put it, and uh, I might have something to say. So uh, I'm going to try to get back on that, but uh, just kind of doing an overview as I'm walking back to the car. Uh, you can see there's a substantial amount of waterfront through here, so, um, and uh, uh, it's really... <laughs> If it wouldn't be full of chemicals, it would probably be beautiful. So, Alright, I'm going to take some stills and 